So for this one, I look, I look in the camera, right? Yeah. All right. Hello, my name is Har Nortut, and I'm the graphic design intern. Should I say graphic design intern? Yeah. Or just... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Hello, my name is Har Nortut, and I'm the graphic design intern for Let's Catch Up 2023. And this is... That's all? <laughs> I, don't know why, I don't know why I said, and this is, and this is what. <laughs> Hello, my name is Guadalupe Gabriel and I am the lead teacher for the literacy program here at Let's Catch Up Summer Camp 2023. Good morning everyone. My name is Elvin Zelaya. Being the lead teacher for this program came with the responsibility of delivering the, these lessons to hundreds of students, so I had to have my students engage. Teaching in front of the camera meant that I had to be enthusiastic. I had to keep my students engaged. It was a bit nerve wracking, but I adapted well. And I believe students feed off the energy of the teacher. So that was the main thing that stick in my head while I taught these lessons. Teaching in front of a camera has its, 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 uh, its differences to teaching in the classroom. And there was a lot of preparation that I had to do mentally before stepping in front of the camera and, and actually executing a lesson. So obviously I had to do a lot of rehearsal on my free time. Uh, on my way to the studio, I would be rehearsing even if it's mentally. You know? So it takes a lot of preparation. At home, I would practice with my daughter to get that, um, those uh, mental pictures of what the response of these children that are at home would be like, right? Working with the master teachers uh, was a great experience. It was a great experience. I actually knew one of the master teachers from my, my primary school days. So just every day, the, the routine of setting up our streams and, and getting, getting, loading up our learning material uh, up to conducting the stream themselves, it was just an overall smooth experience with the master teachers. And they were, they were just great. And I'm sure, I'm sure our students enjoyed learning from them. Hello, my name is Marin Medina, and I am the math educator that worked on the numeracy program for the Let's Catch Up. So the math program, uh, what we aimed to focus on was to focus on the fundamental concepts that students may have missed out over the year. So the, what we really did was to carry it forward from basic concepts and gradually build on those foundations. So we ended up carrying it from patterns and being able to show students what patterns would look like, moving towards addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division and then ending up towards the higher level concepts. The kits, um, we used paper, we, we printed a paper, uh, we designed it so that we could look at numbers, we could look at patterns. So in the end, what we ended up creating was number tiles, uh, some triangle tiles, some pattern tiles, some fraction strips, some place value uh, holders that we used. So all of that was designed closely to focus on those uh, fundamental concepts. <laughs> no, I never practice the questions. <laughs> My name is Ms. Miriam Mukad, and the role I played in this program for Summer Camp 2023 was the Literacy Lead. So the Literacy program for four weeks comprised of fundament, the development of fundamental reading skills, which really had to do with the letter sounds and their letter combination um, sounds. And so that was the heart of the program, which is the most fundamental tenet of learning to read. So the sounds um, was one of the most important part of the, the kit and the program. The second um, 
part of the kit, which was also one of the most important things, was the exposure to sight words. Um, as we all know, sight words comprise of 70 to 80 percent of whatever literature we read. And so sight words and the use of irregular words or tricky words um, was a part of, a, a, a big, a significant part of the program. Testing, one, two, three. Ah! I would do this all over again, 100%, no second thoughts. Uh, from the preparation of the program up to conducting the program, it was, it was just an amazing experience. And it's also very rewarding uh, knowing what this program goes into, what goes into this program and, and what's, what the result of this program will be. You know, we're, we're helping the next generation of, of Belize uh, with, with some core skills, you know, literacy and numeracy, these are, these are the building blocks to, to our next generation's uh, education. So it's a really rewarding experience and, and I wouldn't I give a second thought to, to participating in this once more.